we want to evaluate the indefinite integral using integration by parts. Now I do want to mention here, our first step should be to make sure the given integral does not fit one of the basic integration formulas, which it doesn't. And then the next step would be to see if integration by substitution would work before we try integration by parts. But notice for this integral, if we let u equal 5x, then differential u would be 5 dx. And notice how we'd still have this extra factor of x here, which is the reason why we have to try integration by parts. So now let's go ahead and review the guidelines for integration by parts. Here's the formula for integration by parts, where the integral of u dv is the given integral, and we want to write it in the form of u times v minus the integral of v times du. And this actually comes from the product rule. So from the given integral, we need to identify what part we're going to let equal u and what part we'll let equal dv. Whichever part we let equal u, we'll have to determine differential u, and whatever part we let equal dv, we'll have to integrate to determine v. So determining what to let equal u and what to let equal dv is one of the most challenging parts about integration by parts. And here are the recommendations. We want to choose u so that differential u is simpler than u. And we want to choose a dv that is fairly easy to integrate. And again, the whole idea here is that the integral of v du should be easier to integrate than the integral of u dv. If it's not, we probably selected the wrong u and the wrong dv. So let's go back and take a look at our example. We want to select u so that du is simpler. So for this example, if we let u equal 2x, du would be simpler, it would just be 2 dx which means we'd have to let e to the power of 5x dx equal dv. Now to determine v, we have to integrate. Let's take a closer look at the integral of e to the 5x dx. This would actually require u substitution, where u is equal to 5x, and differential u would be 5 dx which means dx is equal to one-fifth du. So if we wrote this in terms of u, we would have the integral of e to the u, and then dx is one-fifth du. So we'd have one-fifth e to the u, or one-fifth e to the five x, and plus c, but we're gonna leave the plus c off until the very end. So v is going to be one-fifth e to the five x. Now that we have everything, we can apply the integration by parts formula. So the original integral is equal to u times v. Well, here's u and here's v, so we'll have two-fifths x e to the five x minus the integral of v du. Well, here's v and here's du. So notice we'll have two-fifths e to the 5x dx. And now we need to integrate e to the 5x with respect to x, which we just did. And remember, because of the u substitution, we had an extra factor of one-fifth. So we'll have two-fifths x e to the 5x minus two-fifths times one-fifth e to the five x plus c. Let's go ahead and determine this product here. So we have two-fifths x e to the five x minus two twenty-fifths e to the five x plus c. So here's our first example of integration by parts, and here's our antiderivative. And remember, we'd only apply this if there's no basic integration formula for our integral and if integration by substitution does not work. We'll take a look at another example in the next video.